So again, the interior now with the seats in, um, just, you know, beautiful interior that we are now thinking that with the shade in the back and also check that out. That's really interesting. A little sunshade for the passenger as well. Um, and the window goes down, the shade goes up, uh, the rumble seat door is opened through here. Let's check out the rumble seat. You've got, you know, the beautiful rumble seat. Definitely not original. This, the, rum, the rumble seat is, uh, is, uh, has been redone. And I'm not sure, looks like it might be in a Naga hide. The gas pedal shows a very modest amount of wear, and the carpets uh, are beautiful. Um, so, anyway, um, this this will be an interesting car for us to further research. So now, um, in going through the interior, there's this chalk mark, 1422. And I, I'm now thinking that this is not an older restoration of the interior, but in fact the original interior. Um, I, which you know, I hesitate saying that because it's in remarkably good condition, uh, and I might even have another expert look at it for a second opinion, but it, it, it gives patina in the right areas. Like for example, you see that some discoloration, slight discoloration uh, in the headliner and the, um, where the shades, the sun shades are, um, you know, uh, so which would be proper. The dash looks like it's not been redone uh, then you have things like the slight yellowing, uh, you know, around the windows. Um, and then look at, look at this. You know, that's quality that normally is never, ever done. And why would that quality have been done in the 70s or 80s for a standard aid? It, you know, I, I don't, I just don't think, I don't think that makes sense. Um, you have... Just, you know, and there, there's a, just enough wear and patina, like over here almost none, which would be okay. And yet on the driver's side, on the driver's side we have just a little bit, which, you know, could be 40,000 miles worth of wear. So, uh, we, you know, we looked at the undercarriage of this car, and the undercarriage of this car Ha, looks almost identical in terms of condition as uh, as our f good friend Bill Burchett's 1935 Packard 8 Phaeton, and that has documented under 40,000 miles. And the cars show pretty much the same kind of way. So this plate is quite interesting. So it says here, um, says 14th, 918 vehicle number um, 249, which is a different way of doing the stamping than I'm used to. Looks like GFO J. Wald Vogel Jr. delivered. That's delivered by. Um, and the city, yeah, Long Beach, California, on August 17th, 1936. So that's the that's the date. Uh, we we've detailed the engine. The engine looked like it was probably detailed a long time ago, and we've we've done that. Looks uh, I, you know you can take it to a show and do fine. This car overall you could take to any concours uh, and not be embarrassed, but you know, you're not gonna. You know, uh, you're not going to get first in a major Concorde, but any show or Concorde, this car is lovely and would be welcome.